morning. It's 4 a.m. on Monday. Now it's time to go to work. This is what four o'clock looks like, guys. So, time to sort my life out. That's better. All ready to go. Let's do this. Bye, boo. See you later. Right, off to Pete and Jim. training let's see what we're doing let's see who's about this morning there they all are let monday morning crew first night of the day emma hickson let's do it <laughs> posture up for me good girl great rep Move, love it. Yeah. Woo! People think that personal training is like an easy job and that you can earn loads of money for just showing up at the gym and training your clients for an hour a week. But the truth is, if you want to be a good trainer, if you genuinely care about people and helping them change their lives, there is no clocking off. I think people see me leave the gym and think I'm done for the day, but you know, I'm constantly trying to improve my services and I get home and it'll be 
learning and choreographing new Zumba routines and writing programs, researching how can I help my client who's just had a baby get back in the gym. And, you know, it's never ending and I love it. I love it for that reason because I always want to support my clients. People ask me, who does your social media? And I do it all myself, every post, every video. I record it, I edit it, I write it, I post it. And it's all part of giving people more information and helping as many people as possible. And, you know, it's not a nine to five job, but it's exactly what I do and I love doing it. Right, this is Emma, my client. How old are you, Ems? 16. 16 years old. And you have been training with me for over a year now. Yeah. And I wanted to include Emma in the Life of Liam of Leanne vlog because this girl came to me when she was 15 or 14? 15. 15. 15. Yeah. And she was so nervous of the gym, weren't you? Yeah. And she wouldn't even walk through the gym, would you? No. So she'd only let me train her in the studio. And today, you are going to see a little bit of her session in the gym. Do you love training with me? Yeah. Why? Because you do with my morning. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has to look by the <laughs> See, I can cope with that moaning. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy seeing her sash. Heel down, knees out. Real big three, three bucks. We go. Four to go. Right, here we have Charlie's Angels. Here we go. <laughs> Ready for your sesh this morning? Testing out the new kit. I created the Lean with Leanne ladies only group training program because I had been one of those people who was completely intimidated of the gym and I knew what it felt like to feel like you didn't belong on the gym floor, to have no confidence with gym equipment, to feel like you didn't know what you were doing, that everyone was going to be watching you. So I wanted to create this safe space and environment for women to come to the gym and to feel secure and to build their confidence and learn how to deadlift and squat and train effectively right, on, to meet Angels, new people that are on the same journey as them. And that's why the Lean with Leanne group training has become so successful because we make exercise fun, we teach women the fundamentals of lifting, we give them confidence and they basically just make new friends that then become their gym buddies and they get great results because they're weight training and they just love How it. How much and on a scale of one to it. ten do you love the red glute band? Zero point to zero zero. <laughs> point. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like the longest mile, literally. This is Lucy, we call her Livid Loose. Why do we call you Livid Loose? Well, I like to swear a lot and complain about every exercise you ever make me do. Well, we mustn't let you, mate. One word to describe training with Liam and Leanne. Savage. <laughs> Energising. Yeah. Killer. Funny. Yes. Tough. Go on, Sarah, say it. Fucking ruthless. Yeah. I started at Winners 2008 when I was 25, I'm 34 now, so that means I have been here for nine years, which is insane. Um, it really doesn't feel like it's been that long. And actually, how I started here is quite a funny story. It was almost like I got the job by fate. Um, the new gym, this Winners 2000 that we're in at the minute, this had just been finished and the guys were doing the grand opening from their move from South Devon College to here and they had this massive open day planned and I didn't know anyone from Winners at the time apart from Sarah and um, she phoned me up and said, we've got this big open night and we're supposed to be teaching pump and zumba and combat and our instructor's gone sick, 
can you come and help us? And I was like, uh, yeah, yeah, all nervous. And I showed up and there was literally hundreds of members here. All the gym equipment had been moved back. There was a stage, there was Fooj and Dean and Dean Turner and Simon and John. And I remember thinking, oh my God, what am I doing? And I had to get on stage and do Zumba and come back to everyone. And Simon come up to me at the end because all the members have been going up to him and going, oh my God, that was amazing. Can we have Leanne here and offer me the job? And I've never looked back since. So yeah, nine years, there you go. I have been really lucky to have a lot of amazing mentors and friends from working here. As cheesy as that sounds, um, everybody, all the trainers here are just unbelievable. They're so experienced, they're so intelligent. So I've been really lucky that I work with a group of people who always inspire me to learn more and be better. But I have to say that one of my biggest mentors has got to be John Ellery because he was my manager here pretty much for 99% of the time that I've been here. And he has really played a huge part in my growth as a personal trainer, um, the growth of my business, my confidence on the gym floor, my physical growth, you know, he is, he trains me three times a week. Um, and a lot of people ask me, you're a personal trainer, why do you have a PT? And it's because if you ask John a question, he knows the answer. Anything to do with training, nutrition, mobility, every aspect of fitness, he knows. And if he doesn't know, he researches it. And I remember like whenever we used to ask him questions, if he didn't know the answer, he'd go away for a week, learn everything about that question, come back and present it to all of us. And like, yeah, he's just inspired me to learn more, to do more. Um, I'm the strongest I've ever been because his programming is amazing. And yeah, he's got to be one of the biggest mentors for me. Um, he's supported me for the last eight and a half years when he was manager, which is not an easy job to do. As most of you know, I'm quite emotional, so I think I was in his office crying more times than not. But yeah, he played a huge role in the growth of my business and, and me as a person here at Winners 2000. Obviously, um, Simon, the owner of Winners 2000, has been a huge mentor for me as well, um, giving me this opportunity to work here and to grow lead with Leanne and help me through it. So um, yeah, I'm really lucky to be surrounded by some really amazing mentors. Why do I train? Um, the answer to that question has, has changed quite a lot over the years. So at first when I got into exercise and group fitness, it was all about weight loss for me and I wanted to lose weight and I did my fitness classes because the gym really intimidated me and that's a leisure centre gym that intimidated me. So a tiny, tiny little gym. So I started doing body pump and zipper and I loved it and I loved the group element of exercise. But since I've been here at Winners and I have become more confident on the gym floor and I've learned from so many amazing people and I've been trained by John, training now has just completely changed my mindset. And I train now because I want to be strong, I want to be athletic, I want to be able to lift more than my body weight, I want to be able to do pull-ups, I want to be able to you know, run half marathons and do loads of sporty athletic things. So it's nice that training and learning how to lift and program effectively here at Winners has really helped me shift my mindset away from constantly chasing the scales to wanting to be stronger and beat my numbers and beat my reps every single week. And training for me is like my mental health lifeline. Sure, it is so important to have it regularly in my routine, to keep me sane, to have that outlet of doing something that's for me. Um, so yeah, I train for those reasons. And I wanna look fit as fuck. <laughs> what has been my biggest achievement? Oh, well, I don't know if uh, I've mentioned it, but I did win the National PT of the Year this year, so that's a pretty fucking big achievement for me. Um, however, as amazing as that is, I have to say that I think my journey as a person and my business, Lean with Vienna, the way that that has progressed in a global pandemic through three lockdowns has got to be something that makes me really proud. And I think that's why um, why the, the fitness awards was such a big deal for me this year because, you know, when Boris announced 
that the gym was closing. I genuinely believed that that was it, it was game over. I thought I didn't have a job, I didn't have any clients, I couldn't train anyone, I couldn't train myself. I thought I was going to go insane and become mentally unwell. And I thought I wasn't going to be able to pay my mortgage, I wasn't going to be able to have a car, pay my phone bill. So to be able to look back at that time and say that I adapted, I overcame, and my business grew to what it is now from, you know, when we started in lockdown, I had 40 girls on the eight week challenge. And I remember thinking, well, that's it, it's, it's done. No one's gonna wanna train at home. No one's gonna wanna do exercise in a global pandemic. But actually what happened was, we built this community of people that all supported each other, you know, new mums who couldn't go out anywhere and people that couldn't get to the gym, which was part of their, you know, routine, people trying to homeschool their kids and this community of people all started zumbering online together. They started doing lives, you know, I went live every single day on the winners page, on the Leave Me Out page and the guys just achieved unbelievable results all from home in a lockdown. And that is how Lima Lian started and grew into this massive, you know, hundreds of online members, classes, and group training, and you know, <laughs> training people at Broadsands, training people at White Rock, and now it's become this huge thing. And I think that has got to be my biggest achievement: surviving lockdown and coming out of it the other end with just helping even more people and raising so much money. You know, even in lockdown, my girls raised over £10,000 for men's mental health, for domestic violence, for the British Heart Foundation. And I think that is my biggest achievement. That's quite a lot of things in it. It's not like one thing, but that's got to be the biggest achievement. What does winning PT of the Year mean for you? Oh, well, I think you can tell by the video that it was a really emotional moment for me. Um, for a number of reasons, but mostly because for me, it is a testament to the people that have been my clients, to the people that have done a challenge, come to my summer classes, come to my group training, because when you get nominated for that award, you get sent a form, a pretty intense form. And on the form, you have to write down your achievements, you have to write down testimonies, you have to send in results from clients and, and you know things that you have achieved over the last year. So winning the award just proves how amazing all of my Lean With Leanne crew and winners, members and clients have done in the last year because that evidence that goes to that panel of judges, they have looked at all of those results, all of those testimonies and thought that that is worthy of winning that award. So it makes me really proud of all the hard work that all of my clients and my class girls and everyone online has put in this year because they basically won that award for me, and uh, that's amazing. I also think that, for me, I feel really proud because I feel like it's a massive step and a positive direction for the fitness industry. You know, when I was growing up and I needed help with my weight and I needed help with my body confidence and building confidence in the gym, everything on social media was all about bodybuilders and bikini uh, models and all of these women that had six packs and that's great it is um, an impressive part of the fitness industry however it's also a very small minority of what actually goes on in gyms and me winning this award i'm never going to be a competitive bodybuilder i'm probably never going to walk around the gym flashing my abs i am a normal human being who has had struggles with food, with confidence, with my body image, and I've tried to be as brave and vulnerable as possible by sharing that story and hoping that it helps others. And, you know, letting people know that it's okay to not always be on track with your food and it's okay to lack motivation and you've got to implement all of these things in your life and, and start to accept yourself a little bit more and still try and reach positive goals with your training. And I think because I embody a normal human being who's just trying to overcome those struggles and trying to achieve new goals every year, I think the fact that I've won the National PT of the Year, being that person, 
A, I think it's a huge step in the right direction for female fitness and what fitness and health is about. And I think it's gonna enable a lot more people to wanna join the gym and wanna have personal training and wanna start their fitness journey because I'm just a normal person trying to be as fit as I can be and achieve new things every year. And if I can do it, you can do it. And I've won an award for being that person. So like anybody can do it. And the other thing that makes me really proud about it is this year, not only in November did I win that award, but in November, for the first time since I was 16, I can say that I have not relapsed with my issues with bulimia. And that has, that's a pivotal moment for me. So to win an award, a national award, at the same time that I'm celebrating that, I think, yeah, it just makes me really proud of myself and everything I've achieved. What is next for Lee with Leanne? Loads of exciting new projects in the pipeline for 2022, um, including launching the app worldwide, hopefully. So the Lee with Leanne app is now ready to be launched. My girls have been testing it for me for the last couple of months. And that's gonna have so many programs available for all different goals. So it will have my challenge, my famous eight week challenge on there. It will have all the educational content on nutrition and training. It will also have some new mindset stuff and programs like build a booty, strength, weight loss for the gym. And I'm finally gonna be launching my Teen Queen program, which I'm really excited about. So that is a program specifically designed for young girls aged 13 to 18. And I created that based off my own experience with exercise and food and body image when I was a teenager. It's not a weight loss plan, it is um, an educational program designed to help girls at a young age learn about their bodies, learn to accept themselves, learn the science behind why you get stretch marks, why you have cellulite, Learn how to fall in love with exercise because when I was a teenage girl, I hated PE at school. So I'm gonna be offering alternative ways to stay fit for these young girls, whether they enjoy doing Zumba and dance fitness, whether they wanna do some glute band work, some home workouts, whether they wanna come and try the gym. I'm basically trying to make exercise fun and accessible to young girls who struggle with confidence. And I wanna break down the barrier and help young women accept their bodies and make sure that they never have to feel guilty about food, that they build healthy relationships with food and exercise. And that is what my Teen Queen program is gonna be all about. So trying to make sure that no young female ever goes down the path that I went down, which was due to lack of support, lack of knowledge, and just lack of information about my body, how it works, how to accept it for what it is, and to push to be stronger and fitter in fun ways. So I'm really excited about that. I'm also hoping to finish my qualification in counselling. Um, last year I started my level two, I'm currently on my level three, and I decided that I wanted to qualify as a counsellor because therapy has really helped change my life in terms of my body image, my relationship with food, and my battles with an eating disorder. And I see the benefit of being able to offer that service and that extra level of communication with my online clients and my clients in the gym. The more I start to work with people, the more I realize that everybody, in order to really create change that lasts forever, whether it's weight loss, strength, fitness, they just need to know how to manage stress, manage anxiety, figure out the real reasons why they lack consistency, and to learn how to build a sustainable routine into their life while still being a mum, still working, still having a social life. And I think by being qualified in counselling, I'm gonna get a really in-depth view and ability to offer you know, a whole approach to weight loss and fitness that really isn't out there at the moment. You know, everyone talks about mental health as a bit of a buzzword, but at the end of the day, you know, my clients, I can give them a program, I can count to 10, I can PT them in the gym. 
But if things outside of their training plan aren't right and if they're struggling, then I need to be able to offer that support and offer those strategies and those, you know, things that can help fix those those issues so that everything falls into place and that everyone gets the results that they want. And I'm really excited that the Leave of Leanne virtual five miler is going to be coming back bigger and better. This time um, we are going to be raising as much money as possible for the Patchwork House, which is a women's refuge down in Paint Town that it was created by um, Rachel, part-time working mummy, and Emily. And I think with everything that's going on in the news right now, that it's important that we take a stand on violence against women and all things women's related. Last year we raised £10,000 for men's mental health, so this year we're going to try and beat our £10,000 target for um, for that refuge down in Payton and hopefully we can really help some women that are struggling. So that is really, really exciting. And then personally, I'm just going to keep trying to get as hench as possible, as fit as possible, and help as many people as possible. So yeah, that's what's happening with Leanne. Okay, not bad.